Is it visible, ma'am? Yeah, ma'am. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for uh, uh, inconvenience caused by me. Sorry for the delay. So first of all, I would like to thank you for IOT Academy for giving this wonderful opportunity and gave me a delivered talk on the topic of quality teaching and learning in higher educational institution that is seven days national virtual FTP. So today I would like to speak on something regarding stress and time management for teachers. So before going to know about the stress and time management for teachers, what are the contents that I would like to present in quality teaching and learning in higher educational institutions in the context of stress and time management for teachers, especially in higher educational institutions. So here I would like to in, uh, introduce the contents that is what is stress, what are the symptoms of the stress? What are the causes of stress? And how to cope up with the stress? And what are the implementations we are going to implement in the stress management, that is the techniques? And after that, I would like to inform or relate with the time management practices and the activities involved in this session. So generally, stress management is uh, uh, important for teachers to maintain their well-being and very effectiveness in the classroom. So we are having the stress management strategies and at the same time it is very very effective for the teachers to reduce burnout and improve the job satisfaction. So nowadays we heard about the name that burnout so people are very very fatigued especially the teachers when the academic progressive has to uh, do by on your shoulders so we need to reduce the employee reduce the burnout and improve the job satisfaction so this presentation will explore what are the practical techniques for managing the stress and the teaching profession so here i'm um, next slide so here, introduction, the stress is a natural response. So where you are coming with the uh, different challenging situations. So whether it is physical or whether it is emotional in nature. So when we are having the stress, how we have to mold with negative effect to the positive effect. So when we are considering or encountered with the stress, our body releases some hormones. So that prepares us how to fight or fight response. So stress management is not only uh, in negative impact, sometimes it causes a positive effect too. So that leads to we can maintain our well-being and effectiveness in the classroom. So effective stress management strategies to help the teachers to reduce burnout and improve the job satisfaction so this presentation generally involves with the how we are coping coping with the stress and what are the implementations that we have to introduce in our higher educational institutions for the teachers we want to learn so coming to the next slide there are several different types of stresses including acute stress which is a response to a sudden and immediate threat Generally, we are having the other side of stress, chronic stress, which results from ongoing or long-term stresses. And sometimes we heard about the name of traumatic stress. So which occurs as a result of experiencing or witnessing a traumatic event. So each type of stress having a unique effects on the body and the mind. And it is very, very important and understand these differences in order to effectively manage the stress so stress is very very uh, uh, to reduce and at the same time it is a cause based effect which involves in our mind and body so coming to the next slide generally we are having uh, 
uh, different types of stresses but how the teacher should understand these types of stresses so teaching is generally as an art and science and at the same time teaching can be highly demanding profession lived in to this particular teaching we are having elevated with the different stress levels so common sources for that stress levels inculcated by the teachers are generally we are having the heavy workloads whenever the curriculum starts and at the same time to generally uh, when we teach also somebody may will agree the student somebody may not will agree regarding with our lecture so that also plays a major role uh, that means you are very stressed regarding that particular student behavioral challenges and lack of support suppose if you were higher authority not at all supporting for your uh, tasks or entire thing that means the activities which was involved by the organization you and yours uh, your organization if there is a lack of support that causes high stress levels for the teachers so basing on these recognizing the signs and symptoms of the stress it is very important to uh, that means to implement the effective stress management strategies so before going to implement these effective stress management strategies generally what causes the stress and what are the symptoms if you are having the stress levels that is whether it is low level stress levels whether it is moderate stress levels whether it is i mean um, a good amount of high high stress levels so what what symptoms that you are having when you stress what causes stress that means to reduce the productivity of your organization coming to the next slide so generally causes comes under different uh, different aspects that is either individual either by the organization either by the group so stress is a common experience for the many people and it can be caused by variety of factors so when you are working in the organization the factors has to be influenced when you are an individual your climatic conditions also to be influenced to uh, get the stress so these are all aspects that means the factors which are influenced on your behavior on your work that causes stress so these factors something like uh, we can call it as long duration of working hours so when you are having the long duration of working hours automatically you feel stress and high workload suppose if you are doing yoga work and other people work also that causes you a stress and lack of job security nowadays we are having uh, so much of the lack of job security due to privatization and liberalization taken place and at the same time poor relationship with the colleagues or superiors if you don't have any correlation any coordination cooperation between you and your colleagues or superiors that also the work has to be burdened on your shoulders that time you can feel a stress in fact according to the research survey work related stress is leading a cause of uh, high stress in the united states so another major causes of stress is financial problems everyone is having the financial problems financial stress can be created by uh, like unemployment or jobs uh, job insecurity and unexpected expenses sometimes we can uh, go with our expenses schedule sometimes we can't go for the expenses schedule so sometimes the uncertain this existence in your, in your daily life so that you can uh, spend the money unexpectedly so according to the recent study financial stress is one of the leading causes of divorce and can have a significant impact on the mental health so recently uh we are having in a, especially indian country there are a lot many divorce uh, cases so that's why that's leading a financial stress to the both women and men so this is a fact next one is coming to the next slide what are the symptoms when you are having the stress due to various causes like workload like outcomes to prepare 
or else financial stress what are the symptoms that the individual or the teacher can have to uh, what are looking for or else uh, the teachers have stress can uh, having a variety of ways both physically and emotionally so common symptoms that stress includes one is feelings of anxiety so when you feel stress automatically anxiety comes that means the feelings of anxiety and you can overwhelm when you got stressed and sometimes uh, when you are not eating properly within the time uh, limit suppose if you want to eat like uh, uh, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock our body metabolism changes so pro uh, take proper intake within a stipulated time period that is um, uh, changes in eating or uh, sleeping habits sometimes when you are having the work you can uh, wake out up to 11 o'clock 12 o'clock in the night so don't do the such type of things so that leads to stress so and sometimes changes in um, physical ailments like such as headaches or muscle uh, tension so these all causes the symptoms of stress so that what you have to do being an individual or being a teacher you have to be aware of these particular symptoms so oneself and others too as they can indicate the need for stress management techniques so one when once you recognize the stress levels and stress symptoms automatically you can try the implementations what are existed in the stress management tech stress management that means the techniques what you are going to use when you are uh, aware of these symptoms by an individual or by a uh, what as a teacher so in this one effective way to recognize these symptoms is to keep on daily uh, tracking of your journal and noting down any changes in the mood or behavior that may be related to stress generally um, um, especially the women when we got some um, what we call um, the uh, maternity or some other symptoms we may feel cause stress so in that you just identify or you just aware about your symptoms that has to be noted down in one book or any uh, mobile app you should take care of it to note down so if anything not to be there you just note it down uh, carefully in your notebook or any uh, some uh, notepad so that you have to noting down and any changes in the uh, changes in your mood or behavior that may be related to stress so additionally what you have to do you have to talk with your friends sometimes maybe you, you feel pleasure or maybe you you, you are existed exit uh, exit from the loneliness so you have to talk with the trusted friends you have to talk with the family members about any concerns or issues that may be causing the stress so these are all symptoms you have to identify by your own or by an individual and coming to the next slide why it is very important for the stress management for the teachers why stress management is very very crucial for the teachers generally stress management is important for teachers as it helps them to maintain their mental emotional well being so nowadays we are we had about most of the organization is uh, are implementing organi employees well being in the organization so uh, according to the gallup survey a 70 per one percentage of people are well satisfied regarding this uh, well being programs conducted by the organization or implemented by the organization so what it improves it improves the job satisfaction reduces burnout and enhances the productivity and ultimately the organization and at the same time uh, the teachers also to be beneficial and at the same time you can give 100% performance to the students that so that's why we the organizations or the institutions has to implement the stress management strategies for the teachers coming to the next slide what are the stress management techniques generally we had about by for the individual or for the teachers so first one is at most priority is the exercise so if you are giving the most priority for the uh, what we call um exercise 
daily we have to walk at least 15 to 20 minutes after meals that means post lunch or pre lunch uh, as you prefer so exercise is the one of the most effective stress management tool it releases endomorphin endo, endorphins and which are natural mood boosters and it reduces cortisol levels in the body even a short walk that means the 10 minutes before 10 uh, less than 10 minutes or jog can have a positive impact on your mood and stress levels coming to the next technique that is meditation meditation is another powerful tool for managing stress and at the same time uh, it focusing on the mind on a specific objective or thought it calms down your nervous system and reduce anxiety starting with just a few minutes or meditation uh, each day can make a big difference in overall stress levels so in this particular stress management techniques time management also plays a crucial role reducing the stress by prioritizing yoga tasks and breaking them down into manageable chunks that means the activities individuals can are avoiding feeling overwhelmed and stressed out so setting realistic goals and deadlines can also help to reduce stress levels and increase productivity coming to the next one so these are all implementing ma'am can you please go back so these are all stress level stress management uh, implementations in teaching what are the generally we had about to provide uh, resources for the stress management offering different uh, counseling services workshops training programs access to support groups these are all we are going to implement in the stress management in teaching so like for um, work-life balance and communication and recognition achievements so th these are all we have to discuss in later slides next slide ma'am so when we are implementing the strategies in strategic uh, sorry stress management uh, stress management technique the first at most priority you should give to the promoting work-life balance so work-life balance is nothing but you should take care of your uh, what the personal life and pers uh, professional lives to be balanced being a woman for example being a woman there is um, uh, some uncertainties we are facing that is um, we uh, sometimes our mood is to be changed uh, with a fraction of seconds sometimes our mood is uh, like uh, aggressive sometimes our mood is like um, funny so these are all aspects we are going to balance so that's why we implemented in higher educational institution promoting work-life balance so promoting work-life balance is very very crucial for the teachers to effectively manage stress and at the same time allocate your time that means prioritizing your tasks and energy to both their professional personal lives so it can reduce the burnout and it leads or increases job satisfaction and uh, what we call the productivity and at the same time it improves overall well-being of the teachers and at the same time the individual so overall well-being means it can be divided into physical well-being emotional well-being and financial well-being so these are all uh, well-being facts uh, that has to be studied in by gallup survey and other researchers too coming to the next slide building resilience resilience is anybody resilience what is resilience so resilience is nothing but what is your capacity if you are having or if you are facing any difficulties that means suppose you are the having capacity suppose when uncertainties came into exist in your uh, circumstances what is your capacity to overcome with that particular difficulties 
so if you are having the capacity to overcoming with that particular difficulties what will happen automatically your stress will burst out so first you need to build your resilience how how much you are having the capacity to overcome your difficulties so this in this particular building a resilience we are having certain tasks prioritize self care establish boundaries seek support time management techniques practice mindfulness foster positive relationships these com uh, coming to the slides we uh, we just want to know what are these all uh, tasks so next slide prioritizing self care is nothing but how far is it essential for teachers to manage stress uh, in your circumstances effectively so when you are engaging the teacher with like regular exercises regular uh, adequate sleep and healthy eating habits can boost resilience and reduce stress levels being an individual you can do and at the same time if the organizations are providing these type of facilities to the employees or to these the teachers automatically the teacher will give um, or increases the productivity of that particular institution so and at the same time uh, continuously if you are giving work to the um, uh, uh, what we call employer or employee or the teacher um, the teacher may burst out with that particular work so what you have to do is taking regular breaks you need to provide and practicing relaxation techniques sometimes yoga meditation these are all things you you have to provide such as deep breathing or meditation can also help to reduce the stress or elevate the stress so these all we have to do the first one is exercise second one is uh, what we call meditation and relaxation techniques and sometimes you need to take the regular uh, breaks and at the same time adequate sleep good eating habits these can be uh, what build your boost resilience and reduce the stress level coming to the next slide establish boundaries so what you have to do is being a teacher you should be setting up your clear boundaries between your work and your professional life so that leads to reduce the stress levels or managing the stress as a teacher so avoiding over commitment and learning to say or no to excessive workload demands can prevent burnout so if you are having uh, if you are avoiding the over commitment and learning to say no to excessive workload demands can prevent your burnout so also if somebody thrown some work to uh, on you so you simply said no so if you uh, said like no automatically it reduces your stress levels less so so do your work properly if you give cooperation and coordination to the other colleagues that's okay but entire work if you are doing uh, uh, for your other colleagues and other friends also it may burst out your stress level that means burn out your stress level so what you have to do is being a teacher simply you said no if you are having the uh over workload over workload and simply you are avoiding the over com uh, commitment and learning to say no so and at the same time designating a specific time for relaxation you, even though every teacher is having so much of workload i know that the pain but what you have to do is when you designated with specific time for relaxation automatically your hobbies came into exist and spending time with your loved ones is one important aspect to maintain a work life balance so most of the teachers are only looking for career growth and development but they are not taking care of personal life that means your health and your uh, what we call mood swings to reduce and at the same time you, you are not giving any preference to your hobbies that leads to stress so what i am telling you is you have to focus on your personal things and at the same time that means the time allot a lot has to be there for specific things so coming to the next slide seek support where you want to get seek support from others so building a c uh, support network from your colleagues or mentors or the friends can provide 
valuable emotional support for the teachers so attending a professional development workshops that means personality development workshops or joining teacher support groups can also offer opportunities for sharing experiences and learning cope up the strategies so here seeking support from school or administrators or institutions or universities or counselors when facing challenging situation can help elevate the stress or reduce the stress coming to the next slide the part of stress management strategies are one of the biggest uh, uh, one of one of the reputed technique is time management techniques so in this time management techniques first effective time management can significantly reduce the stress and at the same time what you have to do in that being a teacher you have to first prioritizing your tasks so uh, if it is not prioritizing automatically which one you can do which one you can let it to do we don't know so first you have to give numbering which task you should do first which task you should do later you need to prioritize that means you have to give a rank or you have to give the number of your task so prioritizing task creating a schedule for that breaking down larger tasks into smaller manageable chunks that means the activities can enhance or reduce the stress and enhance the performance of the organization as an in, uh, organization and an individual and it leads to the productivity so when you are using the technology that means the tools and at the same time the resources such as organizational apps or online lesson planning platforms it reduces your stress and at the same time it streamline the workflow and save your time so there are so many apps uh, in uh, google play store time management you can just uh, type a name like as time management apps so in that you need to at least download any um, what any two apps or one app you can prioritize your task first and later on you can do later whatever you prioritize in the unprioritize the task you just simply uh keep in that that app so you can uh, know the workflow and save time of your particular uh task so coming to the next slide practice mindfulness so practice mindfulness is um, uh, this uh, technique is uh, mindful meditation or else mindful breathing exercise so what it helps is it helps the teachers to reduce the stress and improve the focus so daily what you have to do is uh, on your bench only on your desk only you have to sit for a while at least few minutes each day if you are practicing uh, that uh, mindfulness uh, exercise uh, so that it enhances self awareness increase resilience and promote overall well being of your health emotionally physically and financially so when you are incorporating with these mindfulness activities into the classroom it can also benefit the students and it leads to positive working environment that means from your side and at the same time pa students also will get positive learning environment so practice mindfulness is very very useful uh because you can't go anywhere you, while sitting on desk only you can just relax yourself meditate yourself so that you can improve your uh, what we call self awareness and increase your resilience coming to the next slide foster positive relationships so when you are having foster positive relationships with the colleagues or students and parents and contribute to a Uh, what we call supportive and less stressful work environment so whenever you are having the positive relationship it increases your communication and active listening participation and empathy are uh, what uh, are the key elements to fostering your positive relationship nowadays this empathy uh, what uh, obsolete now that term came into exist that is compassion 
so there are different uh, there are uh, differences in sympathy empathy and uh, compassion sympathy is you can feel for others but you you are not doing anything for others empathy is if you are feeling something um, if if you feel something if others feel something about some situation or something like you can also feel on that but you are not doing anything but compassion you just felt about that and you are giving some hand to help others that is compassion so when you are giving compassion automatically it increases the positive uh, work relationships so creating a sense of community in the classroom and collaborating with the colleagues it reduces the stress and automatically it increases the job satisfaction uh, next slide is so the overall implementation strategies what we learned is in the strategic management so stress is a natural part of of our lives so when you have a, the positive and negative effects on your physical and emotional mental health that means mental health so whether it may be impossible to completely eliminate the stress from our lives but it is important to man is how you are handling that particular situation so when you are we we are not a, uh, completely eliminating eliminating that particular stress but we are having to we are having the build up the relationship or uh, what we call um, maintain the manage the uh, stress management uh, strategies in our daily lives for our maintaining a healthy and balanced lifestyle through uh, through this uh, through this particular concept we already discussed uh, about different types of stress common causes symptoms of stress as well as various stress management techniques so we uh, ba based on these overall um, overall uh, significance it improve uh, so when you are reducing the stress levels automatically improve our overall well being so in that particular stress management techniques there is one more um, already we uh, i just spoken about that one time management so what exactly the time management so when you are mastering the clock what are the time management tips and tricks for the teachers so coming to the next slide so when you are having mastering the clock what you are going to uh, learn being a teacher so what is time management what are the consequences if you are having the poor time management so identifying your time uh, which management style it is what are the tools and techniques for effective time management how we have to overcoming the time management challenges so putting all together uh, we are going to deep discussion about that next slide is what exactly time generally everybody is facing with how to manage the time so when we are organizing with the time or when we are uh, what we call schedule with the time time is one of the more uh, what valuable resource we have and it is limited so when you wasted the time it won't be back to you so whatever uh, time you have you have to manage the time effectively and you have to achieve your, your goals so that when you achieve the goals within a stipulated time period automatically it can reduce the stress and improve the overall quality of life so in today's fast paced technology fast paced world is very easy to get overwhelmed by sheer number of tasks that means more number of tasks we need to accomplish each day in our lives by implementing effective time management strategies we can being a teacher we can take control of our schedule and make the most out of our day that means the every day so let's dive into this topic and explore the world of time management together so coming to the next slide 
so what exactly the importance of time management so when you are effectively using the time being a teacher you can automatically prioritize your tasks and it leads to maximize productivity and at the same time it allows the teachers for the quality instruction and meeting the needs of all the students when you are having the proper time management being a teacher it reduces the stress and promote work life balance and it leads to physical and mental well being and it reduces to financial stress and emotional stress and physical stress so that's why time management is plays a crucial role in higher educational institutions especially for the teachers coming to the next line so when you are not managing the time properly what are the consequences being a teacher you are facing so when you are having the poor time management you can have several or serious consequences both your personal and professional life too so it can lead to missed pollutes so if you are not doing work properly automatically you can uh, lost your uh, what we call uh, colleagues and sometimes miss your deadlines and increase your stress levels and decrease productivity when you don't manage your time effectively and efficiently you may find yourself constantly and sometimes which can be like uh, demotivating and de uh, exhausted from uh, from nature on the other hand effective time management can have various benefits when you are prioritizing your task and managing your time efficiently you will get you will reach the goal is very quickly and you can get the productivity more if you are having more time for your leisure activities and hobbies that can also lead to overall well being and at the same time quality of your life has to be increased so when you are having the good management skills are highly valued by employees making you are more attractive to to the company and at the same time uh, you will get more promotions and career advancement in, advances in your uh, professional lives coming to the next slide so how can you identify your time that is management style there are several different time uh, time management styles so first what you have to do is there are you can uh, identify your own to develop your strategies for managing your time more and more effectively the first piece what you have to do is to identify uh, or to understand the, the characteristics of each type some people are like uh, taken an example of abdul kalam he is a very uh, natural planner sometimes some some people are adapted from others so they schedule their uh, uh, what uh, tasks very carefully and strict to a routine some people are uh, like based on their flexibility only they can uh, what arrange their time schedules like working spontaneously still others are uh, may struggle with the, the particular time management due to procrastination and great difficulties in prioritizing the tasks so what you have to do is being an individual being a teacher you should prefer schedule your time carefully by your own stick to your routine activities or else you should flexible based on the working task spontaneously coming to the next slide what are the tools and techniques for effective time management so when you are giving the prioritization as a tool for effective time management 
you should focusing on important thing important uh, in the task and focusing on them first you can do your other works later first whatever the prioritizing task you will prefer first you should note down you should do it uh, on or before while leaving your office or institution one technique for prioritization is use eisenhower matrix which categorize the task based on their urgency and importance if you are having the urgency you have to do that particular task immediately if you are not having that much urgency you have to give prioritize to the latter that particular task so here the delegation is another one tool for creating time management so what it is delegating tasks to others who are uh, better equipped to handle them you can give to them they so what you have to tell is you can free up and you you have own time to focus on other important tasks so that's why this delegation is effectively by choosing the right person for the task and providing clear instructions so coming to the next slide is how to overcome these time management challenges so everyone is having i'm not having proper time i'm i can't do this particular uh, task within a stipulated time period so what are the overcoming problems we are facing or overcoming challenges being a teacher in time management we are facing we need to learn so one of the biggest challenge is managing the timing effectively so if you are not managing the time effectively that means you are delayed with your work that means the procrastination so everyone should has to overcome with this particular procrastination so generally when you are having the procrastination easily you can distract it or overwhelmed by a task so when you are having these things you can uh, you are postponing your task so that is not good thing to you because if you want to grow up or if you are to enhance your career advancement you need to prioritize your task most of the teachers or most of the individuals they are uh, what we call um, wasting on uh, their time on social media instagram and uh, other things are like um, shopping that means e-commerce website these are all things we are doing so what you have to do is when you are having the challenge of this you should just prioritize the or else break down the task uh, into smaller and more manageable steps so and another common management challenge is time management challenge is dealing with the distractions so if you are reading something or if you are planning for something lesson when the message comes from your mobile you easily distracted so what you have to do is you whether uh, so you have to mute you mute the phone or else you just uh, the notifications to be off so these are all things you have to quickly learn and at the same time um, um if you are doing these type of things it automatically it increases the productivity so to combat this you have to setting aside specific times for checking email or taking phone calls and you can also create a designated workspace that minimizes the distraction distractions and helps you to stay focused on the task ahead so coming to the next slide putting it all together so when we summarize this particular effective time management requires identifying your personal style and implementing tools such as prioritization such as delegation goal setting so it uh, so that's why when you are identifying these tools you can overcome easily like post procrastination distractions and consistently evaluate your and adjust your approach to ensure the success so coming to the next slide there are some activities which place the stress and management activities time management activities the first one is troy activities uh, everyone is involving or not so if anyone is having straw in your hand
so take is strong we will play some activity uh, here so take one strong and place it horizontal so when you place the straw on the table horizontally what you have to do is you have to just hold both the ends firmly and what you have to do is you ja just start twisting them in such a manner they just overlap each other and form an air bubble at the center did you get it? what you have to do is you have to just take a straw and horizontally place on the table now hold both the ends firmly and start twisting them so when you twist them the straws on both the uh, both the sides that means the ends overlap each, each other and form a bubble at the center now what you have to do is as a uh, invite uh, in invitee for this iot academy i just ask a question you just step forward and just burst the air bubble straw air bubble with a thumb bar finger the bubble with burst and will create a lot of noise so what it means what it what exactly deep brief means so we are like human beings human beings are like straws so when you bottling up straws and pension which we consider as a part of our lives and routine we become sometimes preserved for a period of time with the slightest tick will burst is a healthy to admit and recognize your individual triggers to de stress and which allows us to bounce back so the ultimate debriefing of this activity is every human being is having the up and downs so when you are having the up and down up and and downs you need not to be what worried about that one so what could what effort we can give or what capacity we are having to reduce our or overcoming the challenges we need to know so when you resilient yourself automatically it reduces or overcoming the stress from your inner side so coming to the next slide the mayo jar so this is like mayo jar so in that what you have to do is you just use the demonstration that is um, uh, you just have to take one jar in that what you have to do is you have to first take some large uh, rocks or shells you just uh, put it in inside fill the jar uh, fill the jars with that particular rocks first and others also if you in your home if anyone is there also ask the group to that particular uh, jar to the uh, fulfill so fill the jar with gravel and sand also so in that what you identify so when you the jar represents your life that means the mayo jar and the rocks are most priority things that means most important things like your family like your health like your work and so on the gravel is represents your house and car and sand represent so gravel represents house and car and the sand represents everything else so when you put the objectives in the jar it first determines how many other things or items to conclude it means it highlights the importance of prioritizing each urgent task and 
getting those to be done first otherwise we may not have the time to do that particular such simple smaller task so these activities when we learn or when we have habituated being a teacher in our homes or in our profession or in our das automatically you will uh, what reduce you can reduce your stress and time uh, you can uh, what increase your effectiveness of time management skill so that you can get more promotions and that leads to your organization success and at the same time you can also get the well being of your health both the, uh, i mean mental and emotional and at the same time you will be very very happy to easy or manageable to tackle any situation so this what i want to conclude so time and stress management is very very essential for each and every uh, individual not only for the students so that we can adopt different techniques and tools in our daily life so that you can increase the productivity by your side and at the same time organization side or institutional side also any queries any queries thank you ma'am the session is open for discussion now you can unmute yeah. and interact with the resource person or you can post your queries in the chat box also thank you ma'am and thank you all